and another concept that I think is important is to have what I call ruthless self-love. And that's just not this coddling self-love of a spoiling grandmother. Oh, yeah, eat the candy, love. Uh It's that ruthless self-love, like, this is what's best for you. I'm looking out for you long term. I want you to thrive in your life. And I'm going to give you what you need to thrive and nothing else. You know? My self-love does not talk that nice. <laughs> <laughs> My self-love is the get up, pussy. Yeah. Let's do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it makes right. a lot of noises. Come on, bitch. <laughs> yep. Don't be but a bitch. But Don't that's be why a bitch. That's why it's ruthless, you know? But it's not yeah. cruel. It's not going to be that. It's not cruel. It's not going to punish you unnecessarily. Oh, you fucking fat slob. You lazy piece of shit. That can, it can happen. It can happen. And, then, that. and, that's, and that's what you got to watch. You got to have that. That's the self-love part of it. You know, the ruthless is that intense, like, come on, do it. You know, uh-huh. get up, get uh-huh. yourself done. This is what's best for you. And then the self-love part is not to unnecessarily antagonize yourself because we can be brutal to ourselves. I mean, who, who would we allow talk as much shit to ourselves as, as ourselves? Right. You know, nobody. Yeah, I think this, the, um, the, the term self-love is a funny one because people, yeah, you love yourself, don't you? You always knew you loved yourself. You know, people, there's a weird thing about, well, if you don't love yourself, why the fuck would anybody else love you? Mm-hmm. You know, you should be a, a, a person worthy of your own love. And yeah. if you're not, you're doing it wrong. It's really that simple. It doesn't mean worship yourself. It doesn't mean uh, pretend that you're something awesome if you're not. It means let yourself know when you're not awesome. Let, yeah. let yourself know be everything honest. you're doing wrong. Be completely honest with yourself. And until you do that, you're doomed. You're yeah. doomed. Exactly. You're doomed. Be you're never going to get it right. You're never going to get it right. If you don't look at yourself the way other people look at you, or even more harshly, you're fucked. And then, and then the other component is forgive yourself for these past deeds. Yes. We'll rehash these old things that we've done so you many times. You are that that becomes not the new, past. Yeah, that becomes new resistance. Yes. You know, these old past deeds that we're constantly lashing ourselves. Like the way to look at it, in my opinion, flagellous. is just let yourself know you are not the past. You are who you are right now. And you could have fucked up your entire life. But right now you wake up. And the way I always describe it to people, pretend that you are a hero in your own movie. And the movie just started now. Your life is in shambles. What would the hero in the movie do? 